we're going to talk about equations. Equations. Now equations are very similar to expressions, which we've talked about before. Algebraic expressions contain a variable. An equation is very similar, except that an equation, look at the first few letters, an equation contains an equal sign. Okay, so for example, if we had 7 plus x, that is an expression. But if we added an equal sign and something over here, 10 equals 10, 7 plus x equals 10, this is an equation. The difference? is that equal sign. The other big difference is with an equation, we can actually solve for what the variable is. For example, 7 plus what equals 10? x would have to be 3 because 7 plus 3 is 10. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using mental math to solve these variables to figure out what those variables uh, stand for. So if we had g minus 7 equals 4, well, what do you subtract 7 from to give you 4? g would have to be 11, because 11 minus 7 equals 4. We can do this with multiplying and dividing as well. For example, if we had 5x equals 20, that means 5 times something equals 20. 5 times what is 20? x would have to be 4. Uh, let's say we had 36 divided by n equals 4. Well, 36 divided by what is 4? Well, that might be a little trickier. Some of you probably already figured it out, but if you are having trouble, work it backwards. 4 times what gives you 36? The answer has to be 9, because 36 by 9 is 4. So that is pretty much what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be figuring out what the variable is, doing it mentally, and good luck.